Greetings to you all! In this video I will demonstrate quite an unique Marantz product, which is this DH9300 music server. Back in 2002, before everyone had smartphones in their pockets and wireless speakers in their homes, but wanted to have a music collection in one place, which could be played in different rooms around your house, the solution was getting one of these music servers. Sounds intriguing? Great, let's have a look how this device operates. Just before I start, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram or even consider supporting future videos on Patreon. All links are included in the description. This Marin's music server was released back in 2002 and basically it's a computer with a motherboard, hard drive and optical drive inside. A few months ago I made a teardown video where I offered to have a detailed look at what's inside the Marantz DH9300. I will leave the link to that video in the description. Alright, let's boot this machine up. As essentially this is a computer, it takes about 1 minute and 30 seconds to boot up. DH9300 can be operated as a normal CD player using buttons and a tiny display on the front panel. However, it can also be connected to a TV set and controlled using a IR remote control or third-party multi-room control systems. I have connected the composite video output of DH9300 to the composite input of my Moran's AV8805A which is capable of converting analog video signals into digital. Then I used an HDMI capture card, which allowed me to show you how the TV user interface of Moran's DH9300 looks like. Let's start from the most simple operation and play a compact disc first. You have to select record or play from CD from the main menu. Then open the tray and insert the disc. Wait until the H9300 reads it. Now you just have to select the track you want to listen to and enjoy. As you can see, this music server is able to read the CD text. CDs without CD text will appear without names. There was a possibility to retrieve CD information from an internet service called Compact Disk Database. Unfortunately, this feature is no longer supported and I won't be able to demonstrate it. Great, let's have a look at the menu and see what other features this machine has. First menu option offers you to register your music server. This enables you to receive technical support as well as software updates. Unfortunately, again, none of this is available in 2022. Next goes the library. Here you can browse through your collection stored on an internal ATGB hard drive. You can browse by album, by artist, or by genre. You can also choose the playlist created by yourself. You can edit album information too. Every detail such as artist and album names, as well as the genre and every track name can be edited. Edit playlist option allows you to create a new or edit existing playlist. Great, we are done with the library, let's come back to the main menu. I have already shown you how to play the disc by choosing record or play from CD. I will come back and show you how to record from CD as soon as I finish with the main menu. Let's have a look at advanced settings. Here you can change your registration details, name, address, telephone number and email. Internet account details including dial-up number. Yes, you heard me right. DH9300 has a built-in dial-up modem, which can be used to connect the music server to a standard analog telephone line for internet access. 
Here you can read another boring terms and conditions. You can also choose the recording quality. Starting with an awful 128 kilobytes per second MP3, followed by miserably better 192 variable bitrate and 320 kilobytes per second. And the only usable option, in my opinion, which is maximum quality uncompressed. This option records the CD with no quality loss. You can choose one of five user interface languages. If you don't speak any of those, you are in trouble. You can check system information. And here you will find a few more additional system settings. That was the main menu. Now let's do something fun and record the CD. To make it clear, when I am saying record the CD, I don't mean to record music into the CD, but rather to rip the CD content into a hard drive on this music server. For some reason Morans has chosen a term record for the operation instead of rip. For me personally it was a bit confusing as I thought that the h 300 was also capable of recording music into CDs. But that was not the case. There you go. I will come back to the main menu and select record or play from CD. I will wait a little bit until the h 9300 will open the tray. Now the CD can be placed on the tray and the tray itself can be closed. I only have to press the record button and select auto, which will automatically record all the tracks on the album. The total duration of this disc is 1 hour and 11 minutes. It took almost 30 minutes for this album to be recorded on the music server. This means that DH9300 is capable of recording music onto a hard drive a bit more than twice faster than original playback speed. If you would try to record a CD which doesn't have a CD text, you would have to enter a album details manually. Remember, the compact disc database feature is no longer working. It took me almost 15 minutes to enter all the details of Nirvana Nevermind album manually. Great, some music is successfully recorded on Moran's DH9300. Let's try to play it. I will find something very well known. For example, Dire Straits. Here we go. Now we have music playing through Output 1. As you remember, this is a multi-room music server, which can play music in four independent zones around your house. To play music in another zone, you just have to press the Output button on the front panel. You can see that the output number has changed from output 1 to output 2. Now I can select the track for this zone from the library. Let it be some Pink Floyd. I will play Queen Greatest Hits Part 2 in zone 3. And my favorite Rammstein in zone 4. Alright, now we have four tracks playing through four independent outputs. I can check which track is playing in each zone by pressing the output button again. Great success! There you go, that was a quick demo of Moran's DH9300 music server. This kind of equipment has not been very widespread as ordinary CD players. But I believe it was interesting to see what a cutting-edge technological concept Moran's offered for their users back in 2002. I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to BoardTech channel and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.